So let's come to our next example. Our next example, which is example 2, says that determine the area enclosed between the curve y equal to, let's rewrite this, y equal to x squared plus 1 and then y equal to 7 minus x. So as you can see, we have a quadratic equation and then also we have a straight line. And I've already taught you how you'll be able to come up with a graph of such functions. And for us to move quickly, let's try to brush up on what we were talking about when we were doing how you'll be able to come up with a graph when a question like this has been given. So in doing so, as I told you, for two functions like this and they are asking you to find the area enclosed means that the function will be meeting at a point, right? So in finding that, you need to equate the two equations or the two functions, which is x squared plus 1, which is equal to 7 minus x. And in doing so, we were able to come out to get an answer as x equal to 2 and then x equal to negative 3. Please, if you have not watched my previous video on how to draw a function of a given draw a graph of a given function please go back and then watch them before you come here so during that tutorial we're able to come out with x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 3 based on the fact that we're able to equate these two functions and then form quadratic equation from it and then from there we're able to solve for the values of x we got x equal to 2 and x equal to negative 3 so from there we were able to determine the turning points of this function and then after determining the turning point of such function, we were able to get a turning point for the quadratic equation and the turning point for the linear equation. Um, yeah, this one here is a straight line here. Yeah, and then from there, I was able to draw the graph for you. And I told you that the linear equation or the straight line graph, when it's passed through the 7, it will pass like this. Right, and then the graph, the other one also will be like this. And then, as I said earlier on, our meeting point is going to be negative 3 and hot 2. Negative 3 and 2 for the two graphs. So, please, if you have not watched the previous video, go back and watch it and come. So, now we can say that our enclosed area becomes this one. Now, this is our enclosed area. Since we have an enclosed area, we can say that our limit is between negative 3 and 2. Take note that the other one was some a little bit different because it was after crossing the value over here, it was passing to the origin here, of which there was no enclosed area there, and then came down and then go, went up again. But for here, everything is up there, and aside that there are two functions, and which is forming uh, an area which is being enclosed. So from there, I remember I was talking about such things in my previous tutorial and I said that when you get a two function like this, always the upper one is the positive one and then the lower function is the negative one. So looking at this, the lower function, the lower function becomes what? Y equal to x squared plus 1 and then the upper function which is up here because this one is down here it's y equal to 7 minus x so always the upper function becomes a positive one and the lower function becomes a negative one so what you need to do is that what you need to do is that now the area of such function becomes integral of negative 3 to 2 because we are evaluating between these limits this is where the areas are between i said the upper function is the positive one and the lower function is the negative one so it's negative 3 to 2 of the upper function which is what 7 minus x right this is the upper function minus the lower function is what x squared plus 1 and now we close it over here and then dx so when we what you can do is that try and simplify the function first it will become one function and therefore you'll be able to evaluate the limit. So what you can do is in simplifying this we are going to get the integral of negative 3 to 2. 
negative 3 to 2 of 6 minus x minus x squared right because this one goes on minus x squared and then minus 1 when minus 1 plus uh, 7 you're going to get um, plus 6 and remember it's dx so now we have one function and from here you'll be able to evaluate this function you'll be able to evaluate this function by doing the integration and doing the integration you're going to get 6x minus x squared over 2 minus x power 3 over 3 and then remember that we have the limit which is negative 3 and then 2 and here we are going to do upper limits minus lower limits and then doing the upper limit minus lower limits we are going to get 12 minus 2 minus 8 over 3 minus because i have substituted this negative uh, this positive 2 right into there is the upper limit and then the minus the lower limit so when i substitute this negative 3 inside this we are going to get negative 18 minus 9 over 2 plus or 9 right so just do the substitution and then from there you are going to get the first one to be 7 whole number 1 over 3 minus 13 whole number 1 over 2 of which as i said earlier on you can do it to simplify it, you can say 7 times 3 plus 1 all over 3 the minus 13 times 2 plus 1 all over 2 so from here you'll be able to come out with a value which is 7 times 3 is what 21 plus um, 1 is what 22 so 22 over what, 3 minus and then 2 times 13 is what 26 plus 1 27 over 2 and then after all you are going to get 20 whole number 5 over what, 6 of which you can also simplify to get 20 times 6 plus 5 over 6 so 20 times 6 will give us 120 and then plus 5 will give us 125 and then 125 over 6 125 over 6 so this answer over 6 and then we are going to get 20.3333 and go in or is it 20.833 yeah 20.833 so this will be your answer so please pause the video or if you didn't understand anything go and watch my previous video on how to generate a graph of such questions and then come here and pause the video and solve it by using the previous knowledge that you have been able to gather so let's move forward and solve the next example